Good afternoon to YouTube. Welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collection. Got another great product for your winter warmth needs. And this is uh, a product by Sunwill. So they were nice to send me uh, two, one in each color, of their heated, they call them beanies, I disagree, but here they are. We have the black and we have the gray. So both beanies uh, are very similar as far as uh, what they do. And these are heated hats. Um, I've been using now for, I don't know, a couple of years, uh, heated clothing products like gloves and socks. And I'll tell you, these are a game changer. If you do anything outdoors, whether you're, you know, out and about, you know, skiing, snowboarding, hiking, hunting, whatever you do outside working, that's mainly what I use them for working. Uh, these are a game changer. Now, these aren't meant to make you feel like that you're inside your house sipping a cup of hot cocoa, right? But they just take the chill, that little bit, that little bit of heat's all it really takes to ensure that you're warm, right? Um, I have some gloves by a different company. Uh, they're all pretty similar. They're not super thick, but they don't have to be. Just having that little bit of heating element just, just keeps your hands from freezing, so to speak, right? So let's talk about these. This is gonna be a shorter video. Um, honestly, these are awesome. I mean, these are gonna get used. Uh, there's nothing like being uh, being cold and not being able to put on enough layers. Something like this allows you to kind of keep the layers down, but still get some warmth. And that's what I really appreciate. You know, there are times where I've had to wear like five or six, literally five or six different layers if we're out on the bay, crabbing, doing something like that. And when I could have had just something like this, you're gonna get better mobility and also just a lot more comfort. So uh, the black is more of your traditional kind of ribbed style stocking hat. You do have kind of like this uh, kind of lip here, but this is not rolled. It's actually just kind of a stitched in um, like, I guess kind of crease. Um, it is fleece lined on the, on the black one here and you can just kind of see the texture. And of course on the gray one, I think I kind of like the gray better. Uh, this does not have a rolled edge. It just is, comes flat down, right? It does have fleece on the inside. The pocket on the inside is where you put the battery, and I'll show you that in a second. And I like kind of like this kind of brick texture. Um, now, uh, power button's awesome on this. This is something that you can just basically press and it vibrates. So you don't actually need to, damn man, people drive like maniacs. You don't actually have to know what setting you're on. You can feel what setting you're on. I mean, you don't have to visually see it, which is kind of a downside to some of the other brands I have. When you press the power button, you actually have to look at the indicator to see whether you're on low, medium, or high. With this, it'll give you a vibration to let you know that while this is on your head and you press up, you can change the setting, turn it on or off, and know whether you did so or not. It does have visual uh, uh, lights as well. You have uh, three different colors for the different modes, high, medium, low. And uh, again, I really like the fact that they made it vibrate. That, that makes it really easy for you to know whether you've turned it on or off or what mode you're in, right? Uh, they both do that. When you uh, go to the website, and I'll put the link in the description. These are on Amazon. 60 bucks. You get 10% off today. Um, you'll notice that the logo is a little bit different. So they basically changed it where they just added, I don't know, the, the logo, actually, I shouldn't say the logo. If the logo is the same, they just added a little bit to it, showing like kind of like the, it looks like battery level and then uh, the heating modes, where I think the other one didn't actually have that visual indicator on here, where this does, it's lit up. So pretty cool, I like that. Uh, what else about it? Super warm without even turning it on. Uh, it, it's fantastic. Now, um, as far as what they list on here on the listing, I do like to read you guys what they list. I'm not gonna give you the sales pitch as far as what, you, you know, you guys are grown adults for the most part. Uh, you, you'll know why you need to wear a hat and when, uh, but it, it just says here it's made of elastic polyester fleece and elastane. Um, it does have a 7.4 volt, 2200 milliamp battery. It says it'll give you eight hours of use on low, three to four on high, and you have those three temperature settings, white, red and blue uh, indicating which mode you're on and it does give you that vibration as well. Um, so uh, that's about it. Really straightforward. Uh, the box, you know, no big deal there. It's a cardboard box. I do like the fact that it does have a magnet on the box because I generally will store my hats and stuff like this in the box. So I, you know, I feel like something like this gets thrown in a drawer sometime and then you'll lose the charger. Um, you know, I'm glad I have two of these. So uh, the charger, just a wall in adapt power adapter. Pretty straightforward. It does have an indicator, and I believe it's an auto shut off. We're not going to talk about that. And then, of course, the battery, right? Uh, really straightforward. You basically charge the battery. When the indicator shows green, it's obviously good to go. You open up the hat. There's a plug here. You plug it in, 
put it inside the pocket. And what I like about this as well, the Velcro is actually stitched on, so it's not going to rip off on you. It's durable, uh, which is great. Um, you know, you don't really feel the battery too much. They position the battery towards the back of your head, uh, so it might pull down a little bit, but it's a pretty lightweight battery. I don't think you're going to have any issues. Now, let me just, I have to tell you what I don't like about these. So what I don't like is if you look at the picture on Amazon, they show a beanie. And we all know, and forgive me if I'm wrong, skateboarders, a beanie tends to fit the head snug, right? It's not a stocking cap, right? What I don't like about these is that these are like made for Connie Conehead. Uh, they're really tall, and even the one with the rolled edge, you can't roll this again because then you expose the fleece and you put the button on the inside. This is designed to be worn like this. And it's just really unfortunate that they, oops, it's just really unfortunate that they made them like this. And see, this is something I don't like either. Like this crease is actually, I said it was stitched. I'm actually, I think I'm wrong here. Uh, let's see here. I guess you can kind of roll it. Yeah, so it's got a crease. You can kind of, you guys can't see what I'm doing here. Let me get it back here. You can kind of roll this into bringing the crease back like this. But for some reason, I'm having a hard time doing that. Let me get it around here. Because a gray hat doesn't do that. Like this one here, you actually kind of roll it. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I find that really annoying. So what I'm doing here is trying to get this crease back by pulling. It just kind of wants to keep opening up. I thought this was stitched, so you have like this traditional brim, right? Or I'm not, probably not using the right terminology for it, but um, yeah, it just kind of keeps coming undone. Like you have to kind of keep tucking it in there. So that's kind of dumb. I don't, I don't like that at all because this is just going to keep falling down on you. So not sure on that. Seemed to stay right when I got it, but you can look at it even without it rolled. Look at how large this is. Like, and I know, granted, <laughs> sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm trying to get this back to where it was out of the box and you really have to bring that material down into this roll there you go so once you get it rolled they should have stitched that in there if they're going to make a, a hat with a rolled edge it should be stitched but once you put it on it'll stay on but even rolled you can see how large the hat is i'm not going to put this on but again with this one here like you know it's really long and so if you were to put this on your head like I don't have a huge head but even if you have a big head there's gonna be a lot of material out the top and what's unfortunate about that it's gonna be flopping around I know that is a look uh, and I forgive me if I'm wrong saying like a skateboarder look I could be totally off from that but it, that's what it reminds me of uh, when you're having a hat with all this extra material a beanie to me I want a beanie fitting nice and tight like a skull cap and so this the picture they show you makes it look like that, but when you get it, like it's it's a lot more elongated. So uh, to me, in all honesty, like I'm I wear these for winter time, you know, because it's about the purpose. But if I was buying something personally, like for sixty bucks of my own money, I want it to look a certain way too. I want to be able to be warm, but then stylish, right? For work, it's one thing, you know, when you're cold, you're cold. If I'm out in the woods or I'm out doing something outdoors, and I just want the warmth, and I'm not too concerned with the style then by all means, this is going to work for you. But I just feel like all that extra material is just really wasted, and it's going to give kind of a sloppy look to the hat. Uh, they should have made this a standard beanie, right? Uh, you know, maybe a small, medium, or large. Or if they were going to make it, you know, here's the thing. Most people's heads are are just, if the, if it's if you have a bigger head, a big-ass pop head, like, it's just the diameter gets bigger, right? It doesn't, like, grow tall like a cone head. And it's like they made these for cone heads. So that to me is kind of disappointing, but don't get me wrong, if you're not too concerned with that, uh, order it. Um, I think, you know, I tested the heat heating ability the other day. Your head will be warm. You are not going to be worried about that. But uh, as far as the look, you are going to have a lot of extra material at the top. If you are a lovely lady with a big ass bun, or even gentlemen, if you have a big ass man bun, this might be the hat for you. But for me, you know, this this is not something I'm going to wear when I want to be stylish. Like, I'm not going to throw on my leather jacket in the cold weather, my nice new cowboy boots. And let's say I do want to wear a beanie. I'm going to pick something like maybe with the brim, something that's going to really be, sit snug to my head and just have more of that more cleaner look. This is going to be kind of a sloppy look. And for me, that's a deal breaker. Um, I appreciate them sending it. I will use it for when I'm really cold. But as far as wearing it in times where I want to be stylish as well, 
I'll just deal with being a little, a little colder and wearing something that fits my head better. So, um, and again, it's not just me. Like this isn't going to fit any human being's head any better. You have to want that look with the extra material. And I just, I just can't resist here and showing you what I mean here. I just comb my hair, but you can see, like, if this is the look you're going for, you know, where you have all this extra material, great. But this is going to flop around. This to me, I don't know if this is like a, 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 a you know, a skateboarder look or if this is more of like a uh, and again forgive me I don't know what the kids are doing nowadays I don't know what the kids are doing when I was a kid you know but I just feel like this is not something that I want in a hat you know and you know I know some of the ones that have the, the big tassel on it yeah it flops or I don't know I guess I just not really I guess I'm the wrong person to send a hat to like this because I, I generally don't wear hats but uh, anyway I want to give you the information it'll keep you warm and that's uh, the only way you should look at this hat. It'll keep you warm. So, uh, but again, I have to be real <laughs> with when we look at products on Amazon and we look at heated hats. And I, I hate to do this, but because guys, when I work with companies, when I work with companies, I want to give them a good review. I want, I want to work with them again, right? But I also want to be honest to my audience. And no matter which hat you choose on Amazon, you have pages upon pages of heated hats all roughly in similar price points, right? You're not gonna know how a hat fits until you actually buy it and try it on. Uh, there is one here that kind of calls me. It's like pretty, it's um, like a cream color, very stylish, 120 bucks. So twice the price. Again, it's up to you. Most of these hats are all gonna be very similar. I mean, I, I haven't tested them, but usually they're using kind of the same stuff in their hats. Um, you know, it, it, it's a lot of different products, a lot of different companies, and usually it's the same kind of stuff. But, uh, and I don't mean to sound like I, you know, I know it all about this stuff, but I just feel like whatever choice you make on here, you're, you're going to have to either buy from somebody like myself, or not some, not buy from me, buy through a recommendation by somebody like myself who said, hey, this is how this hat fits, and you can see it. Because when you look at all the pictures here, even if you look at the pictures from their particular reviews here. They have 395 ratings. And here's people, let me see if there's any pictures of anybody. So a lot of them, here's one guy wearing one. And he's got it pulled down pretty low, but still a lot of material on top. Um, yeah, so not a lot of pictures on this hat. Again, people like it. Maybe I'm being a little too picky about it, but I want it to look a certain way too, and this one just doesn't do it for me. So, uh, but not to not not to say that it's not great quality. I'd say it's not going to keep you warm. It is functional, and you should buy this if you're only worried about the function. So, thanks for watching, guys. I want to thank Sun Will for their generosity and saying this to me. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they send me something again. Uh, and you guys have a great day. Take care now.